This video is going to discuss an early game build that you can get in Final Fantasy 16, so around a third of the way through the game. So this is one of the abilities or the builds that you want to use early on because of the ability uptime of the setup that I'm going to show you. It's the best ability that I've came across for utility. So there's a stack called Stagger in this game, right? So you can see the star icon, right? You need to know that that's the star icon doesn't mean magic, which I initially thought it did when I first started the game. It means stagger damage, and attack means obviously attack, right? But the more stagger damage you do, the quicker you will get to a stun damage phase, which increases damage from up to 1.5 times multiplier. So it goes like 1.10, 1.2 and so on all the way up to 1.5 so getting to stun damage phases in this game is super important and this setup that I'm going to show you gets to stun gets to stun damage phases quicker on the ifrit setup which I'm going to show you in a minute so you've got the stagger damage and will this affects stun damage right but abilities obviously have their own ratings so when you unlock ifrit right uh, there is three abilities that you unlock right which obviously base unlock them you've got ignition here which i imagine will be decent but this one right here has a lot of ability uptime and you can spam it not a lot of the abilities you can actually spam as fast as this one which i'll show you in my testing uh, coming up so it's got willow the wikes right summon a storm of fireballs that circle around clive damaging nearby targets whilst also damaging while also dam absorbing damage so you can upgrade this ability uh, a couple of times. So the, the base version of the ability just states that it does damage with the fireballs and it nullifies up to two attacks. The second upgrade doubles these two components. So the second upgrade it upgrades the fireball count. It doubles it. And then you, you actually can nullify up to four attacks, which is super useful. So... Not only that it does it do those two things, um, you also can spam this ability, which I'll show you how long it lasts uh, on, on a couple of tests. So make sure that you upgrade it, that you get that second upgrade. The mastery rank you don't need early game because you're not going to be switching icons out much. When you do start to switch out icons and you want to uh, come back to this ability, then yeah, I recommend that you master it. But right now, you don't need to master it. If you're a third way through the game, maybe halfway, you don't need to master it right yet, uh, just at this minute. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it does. Um, super fun ability. It's almost like fire armor, right? Which a lot of the abilities are more like ultimates in this game. So there's not a, there's not a lot of utility setups I've saw so far, but this is the first main one. So I'll just do a couple of tests showing you how long the ability lasts and all that stuff in a minute. Fortunately for us, this game has a testing hall, take no bungee. And basically, uh, I can show you the effectiveness of the fireballs, what they're doing on their own without me actually even attacking. So, the fireballs, whether you upgrade them or not, they always last 20 seconds. I've tried both versions. So this is the base version of the fireballs. You can see the damage we're doing without any attacks ourselves. We nearly get them to 50% stun, which we haven't even attacked. So you, that's showing you the base. This is where it doubles. So when you upgrade it, everything gets doubled. You not only nullify four attacks, but you also double your damage output. You can see we got 6k before. We're going to get 12k-ish on the um, battle performance numbers it's shown us. So we actually get in past 50% stun, right, on this enemy. So that's just showing you. So imagine if I add attacks to this. I'm staggering enemies so quick. I know Garuda does this as well, really well, uh, early game. But... This is also a build on, on, on here. So now I start putting some attacks in and my damage, my stun damage is going to go right up. Right? It means that we'll actually be able to stun the enemy while we've got the fireballs up because the fireballs last 20 seconds. But the cooldown rate on the fireballs, because all abilities have different cooldown rates, is 35 seconds. Which means you're going, only going to have a 15 second down time for the fireballs. So you're going to be able to spam the fireballs. This is why I think it's... The, uh, one of the best abilities in the game early early game anyways so it also stacks with everything so I've used the fireballs then I do my uh, limit gauge it, they stack and it will stack with any move that you do in the game I, I would I would assume because it stacks with limit gauge so you can see the damage you're going to be able to get out it's going to be crazy you're going to be able to stun uh, damage uh, you're going to do stun phases quicker 
mean that you're going to get more damage in. And it will stun lock all the enemies, the fireballs. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.